it, here's the thing, and like it's almost like you just said, going from supposedly this elite athlete to all of a sudden not being able to move or do anything, like it is the most surreal thing that I've ever been through in my life. And uh and it and it puts you in this state that you didn't know your mind could even go. You know, this 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 downward spiral. You've never been there before. No, either, man, man, I'm always positive, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I stub my well, toe. That's one of the, the things morning. I love about you, right? <laughs> like it's just every, yeah. everything's positive and move forward, get over it. But I, I imagine something like this just yeah, that, it's, that it's, comes with a whole something new way. like this, man. It's not it's not one of those hey, I'm going to get over it tomorrow type things, and uh, you don't realize that until it happens. And next thing you know, I mean, you just feel empty, like. Like you lost everything. Like the world kind of just stopped. Mm. Or maybe, let me rephrase that. You stopped in the world. And the world is still moving. Mm. That's the worst feeling ever, man. It's like everyone's moving around you and you can't do anything. Mm. That's terrible. I can't imagine. I mean, so... You, I guess you came back. Did was it, were you on the field or was this after the so, accident later in the week or? So no, yeah, it was. This was during the game when I uh, when I broke my neck and. Um, did you know? Were you still like in the moment? Or? <laughs> I, I can tell you, it's funny now. Now, now I think back on it, but so seriously, when you knock yourself out. Hopefully you've never been knocked. I've never. I, don't think yeah, I've, I, I've, I haven't knocked myself out. I think I've been dazed and confused, <laughs> but not like out cold. Yeah, you know, you didn't. You didn't like cheat on nobody's girlfriend or anything. <laughs> so that's good. No one knocks you smooth out. No, but once you get knocked out, and I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but for me, uh, my senses came back one at a time, and so being in this big arena, I was laid out on the ground, and my sight came back first, right? And so I'm seeing this huge light and all I'm thinking is, oh, my God, I'm dead. <laughs> like, Lord, no, I'm too young to die. Right. Because they say you're going to see this light. Right. And those arena lights are super bright. The stories bright, are true. Like super bright. Here we go. Well, thank God my vision started to come more into focus and people were standing over me. And I'm like, Whew. I mean, thank God. You know, yeah. I mean. I wasn't ready for that. That's a all. sigh of relief. Yeah, that, <laughs> I was not ready for that. So, um, but I still can't hear them. Like they're all standing over me, and I can see them saying stuff, yeah. but I can't hear them. And all of a sudden, it was like a pop, pop. Like my hearing came back, and people were like, "Jojo, Jojo, can you hear me?" Blah. Blink your eyes. Do this. Do that. And I'm looking at him like, "All right, man, I hear you." And and he's like, "All right, uh, do me a favor." Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, move your fingers. And apparently I move my finger. It's a whatever. paramedic over you. like on the, yeah, yeah. It's our trainer. Uh, like, it's our yeah. trainer. Yeah, it's our head trainer. He's like, move your finger. So apparently I move my finger. He's like, move your arm. Apparently I move my arm a little bit. And he was like, you know, move your foot. And, dude, I would never play poker with this dude because his face was just like... <laughs> Right, like, like he saw a ghost or something. I was like, "Yo, what's wrong? Something wrong?" And he's like, "No, nothing's wrong. No." Like, I'm like, "Dude, you can't. Your face looks like uh, someone shot me, and there's a bullet hole like 12 inches wide." I mean, you know. Um, and so I knew something was wrong. I just didn't know what. And and the funny thing about being paralyzed too is that you don't know you're paralyzed. Your body still feels like you're moving. Like, everything feels fine. Like, you don't feel like, oh, I lost feeling in something. Like, you don't feel that way. Like, everything, your blood is still flowing. You know what I'm saying? So everything's still flowing through your body. Um, So I didn't know I was paralyzed yet. And then they put me on, like, the little gurney and took me out and took me to the hospital. It wasn't until um four to five hours in the hospital really when the doctor finally came in there was like so son um we just gotta tell you something you're paralyzed and i'm like no i'm not i was just playing football like (laughs) there's no there's no way i'm paralyzed i was about to intercept that ball do you see it i just was one step too short i yeah yeah, i still knocked the ball down you know it's like it's like how did that happen you know, such a foreign concept yeah. at that time. Yeah, man. Like everything was, everything was about trying to be perfect, like trying to be mm-hmm. as good as I could be. And it's the irony that 
I feel like I was I faulted myself because I knew what I was doing. I was baiting the quarterback to throw that ball anyway. I wanted him to throw it. I was gonna pick it off, run it to the end zone, score mm-hmm. a touchdown, right? And in my mind, I said break, but I didn't break on that. You know, usually I listen to myself. Yeah. And I broke, I was like, oh, shoot, I should break now. And that's why I just got one hand on it. I knocked the ball down. But when I knocked the ball down, yeah. I tripped over the receiver's foot. Yeah. And that's when my head went straight down into the wall. So it, that kind of killed me for a little while, too, is the fact that I felt like I could have avoided it. Because you knew exactly. Fault. Yeah. I mean, to a T. It sounds like you knew the moment that you made the decision yeah. that probably changed, changed my whole life. life. Changed one your life. step. One step changed my whole life. One One decision.